Hey, Couture Base, it's your girl, Britt Brad, going live with the Breeze Talk. And child, we're going to talk about these geriatric hoes that y'all love so much. And this lackluster reunion and this, this dissertation on colorism. I mean, was it even that? It felt like a read from community college. Now, for my community college queens, that's not a dig at y'all. Because I love y'all for real though so let's go ahead and like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts and remember opinions are not facts i would like to take this time to shout out our pay for sponsors amazon by shopping using my link i have pinned down below in the comments you can take advantage of the 30 days free amazon prime access so let's get into the mess i would first like to say they could have kept this into one episode why it was two parts god knows why but let me just go into <sighs> it started off with malaysia talking about that rah rah bs again talking about we don't like you because we just don't rock with you she said there's no levels of colorism and i'm just like laquisha please if that was the case you wouldn't have fought the hovan sister laura for calling you laquisha and laughing about it over brunch fast forward Let's keep it to what's going on right now. So OG was just pretty much letting them have it. She was reading the girls for filth. They couldn't take it. They were trying everything in their power, but OG was letting them hoes have it. Now I did see the video where Shawnee was crying and talking about how she feels for OG. That is a play on our emotional intelligence. Shawnee knows she's fumbled the bag. Remember she said this was make believe. But she forgot to tell her scissor sister that. That's why she's still going through with the lawsuit. But let's go back to this reunion. Mark Lamont Hill. Ugh. He just. Ugh. Hmm. Child. I'm going I'm to keep my thoughts to myself. Because he's just a disappointment. I was going to say something rude. But I got somebody listening to me as I record. So I'm going to keep it cute. For the noops. As they say. <laughs> let's keep it moving so OG pretty much called it out she said those are the animals on the stage all of them have either thrown a bottle thrown a glass hit with a purse thrown a table done all kinds of things that would get them in jail which are facts yet she was segregated Mark asked her what would she feel is beneficial to the reunion how would she handle it she said put Evelyn in a room Miss Pat the puss herself and I'm like hell yeah because as quiet as this kept i literally thought about it long and hard and i'm like girl you lost those endorsements you claim which was probably flat tummy tea or fashion nova because god knows who's putting her on a deal from patting that puss like she had some venereal disease i mean chow iconic iconic and y'all know i saved that part of the video it's it's my favorite it's my favorite every time it's time for the weekend i turn up and say i want to have a weekend like this but moving right along they go back to shawnee talking about why she did not invite jennifer even though all the girls have been somewhat violent she goes on to say well because she talked about my baby daddy she kill and i'm just like girl stop it I remember the first season of Basketball Wives when you tried to fight Gloria, which is part of the Hovan sisters, because her sister slept with Shaquille. I mean, you literally was trying to fight her in a restaurant. I don't forget. I don't forget. And I, I, I'm just like, I'm with Jen. It's been public knowledge. But Shawnee, you want to go up here and say, I can say that, not you. Girl, what? make it make sense for shawnee like this is why i talk about you wichita falls hoes down there in texas y'all scheme it and then she said it was distasteful for og to bring up that thomas was not byron's real son girl bye the only reason you feel some type of way is because your son is not shacks now that's the real tea where his real daddy at I ain't mad at you, girl. That's a smart business move. <laughs> He's always going to be forever in the will. But anyways, moving right along. 
so Evelyn goes into it like, well, I communicate with Chad, da, 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 da. and I'm like, he was just your abuser last week. Now he's Chad. Girl, make it make sense. I honestly cannot keep up with you, Miss Pat the Puss. You are reaching your 50s, honestly. It's not cute. This is not the way to age gracefully. I'm disgusted. I'm low key disgusted. And you keep talking about, like, she's talking about my daughter. Shanice is 25. She can fight her own battles. Nobody ever said anything about Shanice being a hoe. What Jennifer said was, you was out there being a, de- a hoe. Meaning Shanice had to raise herself and do what she had to do to make sure the bills was paid because you was doing whatever you needed to do to secure the bag. Did we forget the Antonio Walker like interview? Did we forget? He said you were a groupie hoe who was hanging out outside in the cold and he took you in like the fool he was as you spun up all his money. Girl. I just can't. And so LaQuisha gets into it with Jen. She is really like trying to defend Evelyn. I'm like, the least you could have did was use this energy for Cece. But that's a whole nother case. And she decides to walk away because Jen hit her with the ultimate. Because you don't know how to fight with your words, baby. And she was like, I do know how to fight with my words and my hands. And she said, and you would have ended up in jail. Baby, that was the read of the century. Kudos to you, Jen. I'm starting to like you again. You have grown a backbone. Come on, Miss Bougie Black. Overall, it was, uh, they wouldn't let OG leave. They were literally taking digs. Furby was up there just, she didn't admit to anything. She could have at least told Malaysia that Kristen was the one who said her kids was dirty. Who else would know that besides Kristen, her cousin? But we, it just, at this point, I can honestly tell y'all, if y'all are going to watch next season, what are the storylines going to be? Since they have menopausal Anita coming on, the storylines are going to be centered around people who are not going to be there. I mean, hell, there's been some behind the scenes tea going on. Drea did a whole interview, how the franchise makes black women look. Brandy, what is it? Maxiel? Or is it Maxwell? I think it's Max Seal. She did a whole interview about how Shawnee talks about the girls was lacking substance and they want to highlight the business ventures and et cetera, et cetera. Yet they're not doing that. They are not doing that at all. They are playing in our face and I can't take it. The Sag in me won't allow it. Ugh, just disgusting. I'm just like, you're supposed to look up to some women and these are not the women I would ever look up to. Now, if you want to know how to secure the bag laying on your back, this is how you need to tune in. Honestly, this show needs to be called Basketball Wife in the Junior League because none of them hoes is married and will never get married. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on that. Tammy even came forward to saying, thank God she got hives. Having Mark Lamont Hill having to reply to her issuing an apology child this is just a mess like who are they going to get to film like what are they going to talk about what are the storylines going to be are y'all tuning in are y'all boycotting for real because y'all asked me to do this video comment down below <laughs> i gotta go bye hoes everything i ran out bitch i ran out and i got jail you know i never get jail twice this is jail nails y'all bitches can't spell jail no wait jail jail i put under no, I'm, I'm gonna put you do this. G-E-I-L. I'm gonna oh, put you do this. It's like five more dollars. It's in not G E I. Deja, it's G E L. Jail, bitch. You think about jail like Wait, the penitentiary. J A I L. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Deja, why would you? Yo, we. Yo, we.